the world has changed. The sure. world has changed as, as we know it. Um, will they ever go back to normal or the way things were? It's hard to say. Yeah. And so one of the things, a little thing that I did as one of the assignments with the kids was, um, it was use one slide and use words or pictures to describe uh, why you love soccer and what's important to you. So as our next Zoom meeting, we're going to go around and have the kids present that. So the other thing we've done, Patrick, is we've created virtual games um, as well. So for example, um, this weekend, Virginia Rush is playing uh, the Chiefs out of Georgia. And whoever posts the most videos of kids playing soccer to our social media wins the game. So last week, the score, uh, the Chiefs played Georgia Rush because they have the same yeah. executive director. And the score was 37-35. Um, no defending. Take notice, right? So what, what are the things we're trying to take notice of and we're looking at? I think there's one element um, that we haven't mentioned, which is very important in all of this, which is the parents. So the parents are the ones getting the, the emails kind of thing. And, you know, over here, if you've put your email down somewhere, it could be at the barbershop. They are sending you an email about COVID-19. So in this day and age, you know, people are just getting flooded uh, right. by emails kind of thing. And then the, the length of the email, of course, you know, people get lost. If you're reading it on your phone, then it looks massive. So um, I'm looking, there's a, there's a product called BombBomb. Okay, Steve, you may be aware of this. But um, bomb bomb, you download to your computer, um, and just like we're talking now, it's actually a video message. Instead of sending an email, I can record it and send a video message, um, which is so much easier than just typing and having people read, because then it's shorter, it's easier, um, right. and it's boom, it's right there. So you know that's uh, another thing, and you know Patrick, what I gotta say is you opened the conversation at the beginning saying listen we want to push our platform but right now the most important thing for us is to develop relationships not to make money and that is so refreshing to hear because um people have looked to monetize this pandemic uh i am not one of those people you are not one of those people and steve is not one of these people this has been a, a time to share to give right. Um, to involve, to collaborate. And I've always said collaboration is king. And the more I think we can collaborate with like-minded and like-skilled people, um, the better things that we can put out uh, and keep the game alive, essentially. S certain people, like you said, need different things. And whether it's that human social interaction, face-to-face, um, -face, which has got to be six to 14 feet apart now, um, whether it's FaceTime, whether it's, I, I just think we, we really need to, to build on that um, and leave our legacy in, in ways that, you know, the world has changed. The sure. world has changed as, as we know it. Um, will they ever go back to normal or the way things were? It's hard to say, you know, right. like Steve says, he misses it giving these players a high five or seeing that look on their face when they've just accomplished something, a skill, a trick that they've been trying to work on to see that live and in real time, you know, that's gone for now. Um, and, and we're, we, we've resorted to videos and interactions by video. Uh, we only get it once. Why waste it? We can spend it in fear or we can create possibility for the next person. Uh, we can spend it alone or we can create digital but real connections with someone else. It only takes a day to make change happen. The ocean is made up of drops. And I just thought it was very profound. And I, I just think, it, you know, if we can do our small part to make change, um, to, to make somebody's day a little bit better, whether it's a, whether it's a joke, whether it's a, a smile, whether it's a, uh, a text, whether it's a little video, um, just to let somebody know we are thinking about them and everybody's situation is different.
right? And if we can do that using the ball, um, I did something a little bit silly. Uh, it was, you know, juggle around the world. So I, I did four keepy ups and then I passed it to Steve. And the idea is, is can we pass that and can we get people just passing the ball around the world? This other quote, which we updated yesterday, and it started like this. The game is the teacher, the pitch is the classroom, the coach is the facilitator, the person player is the owner. Now we updated that and we added the parents are the team behind the team. But really, in all reality, it actually starts with the parent, right? So the parent is the fire starter, the game is the teacher, the pitch is the classroom, the coach is the facilitator, the person player is the owner, and the parents are the team behind the team. Um, and that's just to go in line with, you know, when you look at players around the world, um, the best players, they had early interactions with their parents, hopefully, which every child does have, but they had early interactions with their parent and the ball. You know, soccer starts at home, football begins at home. Um, sure. And, you know, it just gives us ways. But if we can, number one, get the parents engaged, right, with the safe sport, because we have to go through the parents. If we can get it, if we can make it simple enough for them, maybe it's a little recorded message saying, hey, mom and dad, how are you? Uh, you know, we realize these times are hard right now. Um, maybe when Mrs. Smith called the house to tell you Billy was a naughty little boy, you didn't want to listen, <laughs> but now you understand where Mrs. Smith is coming from. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, this is the time maybe where teachers and coaches are a little more appreciated because we've, we've shown our worth, but we're also appreciating parents who are so important in all of this, right? To, to Frank and uh, Steve, it was good to see you, mate. Oh, <laughs>